Hello, it's my first day back to work in four days. I uh, had my regular weekend and then, why did I have two extra days off? Hang on, let me see. Oh, yesterday was an editing day, which was an epic fail because my hard drive filled up and then my other one didn't arrive. Sorry, that wasn't yesterday, that was the day before. Then my other one didn't arrive until the evening, so I didn't edit, but actually my sister-in-law came downtown and we went and found her a dress to wear for my wedding, which is really fun. And also just nice to hang out with her because I don't get to do that often. And then yesterday I had a dentist appointment, which if you know me, you know that is my nightmare because I have terrible dental anxiety. And yeah, it was terrible. It was just a cleaning and an exam and a new dentist. The exam wasn't bad, but the cleaning, ugh, I don't like it. Look at my watch. It's a baby G watch. I forgot my proper watch at my massage therapist. So I pulled out good old baby G. She's yellowed from age, but you know, she's still cute. Anyways, I have a Timu order in actually that I want to show you guys. The bag is huge, which I was like, okay. I thought I just ordered a couple things, but maybe not. Let's take a look. Oh, one more thing too. I just got a new foundation. It is the NARS Radiant something long wear foundation. And I have it layered over the um, Smashbox some sort of glowy primer. But I think it looks nice. Wedding foundation. Okay, this is a big bag, right? This is a large bag. Oh my God. Oh. Okay, I did not think I ordered this much, but apparently I did. Okay, so I can tell you what's in these. These are just dust brushes. I ordered, I guess, 200 of them. These guys, because in Ontario, these are a one-time use. I know in different places it's different. These are a one-time use situation, so I throw them out after every appointment. So I ordered 200 of those. These are little, like, Saturn-y, drippy, reflective hearts. Super cute. I got more of these, which actually I think these are different slightly than the ones that's on my nail. These ones actually look like, oh, that's the wrong figure resin versus the ones i have on a metal but my client wants these nails that i have and i used all of these guys up so i had to order more which now i have more colors which i never had before like the blues and the greens which is really cute these are just for swatching colors um this is just a little folding stand but people actually use these for emptying out their gels which i thought was handy oh i got it in pink how cute is it broken it's broken. Perfect. Great. <laughs> Love that. Love that. Okay. Gonna have to. I don't even know what you do when you receive a broken product from Timu. Probably nothing. Some little girly faces. These are big. I have similar ones to these, but these are so funny and so cute. So there's a few different shapes of those. Got some more silver spikes. Got some more silver bead dot guys because I'm all out of the smaller sizes. I have tons of the big sizes, but I don't have very many of the small. And these ones come with a lot of the small sizes, so this is awesome. <laughs> these like a skull panda looking stickers. So cute. Not great, but they're cute. Ooh, these like skull panda looking charms. Really, really cute. These like stamp stickers. Some things just pop up and I'm like, sure, add to cart. Same with these ones. These are really cool though. More sizes in spikes. Ooh, like a mix pack of metal gothy type charms. More spikes, silver and gold. Oh, some more of those little, the same heart guys that I showed you in the beginning. Only like a couple in this bag. Oh my God. I didn't even know that I ordered these. <laughs> Astronaut cats. <laughs> That's very cute. People are gonna like those. Oh, more spikes. In tiny sizes, but these more feel like gun metal -y versus like silver. Let's see. Yeah. Color wise, you can see a bit of a difference. These like drippy, silvery stickers. Mm, these like crosses with pink stones in the center. Ooh, maybe I should put these on my wedding nails. They're really cute. Hmm. Okay, I need to ponder. These are like heart or star charms that have little dangly bits. Little cherries. My client Mackenzie, she was like, can you please order me cherry charms? So I was like, yes, ma'am. These are more Skull Panda looking guys, similar to these guys. Yeah, these are quite similar, not quite the same, but it seems to be a couple sheets in this pack, which is lovely. Ooh, some eyeballs. I don't know, guys, I was getting freaky. The more of these little swatch guys, I put them on the tops of like my inks. 
Oh, these 3D cat heads. Because I just think that's hilarious. Love that. This brush I got, I want to try it with chrome. Just a more dense brush to like dust away chrome. I feel like it would be better. It's like this style, kind of like kabuki brush. So we'll see. Some more just general dust brushes. Ooh, these like piercing style guys. I swear, some of the stuff I removed from my cart, like I swear I removed these from my cart, but here they are. Eyeballs with silver stuff. More Skull Panda style charms. Like I don't even remember adding these to my cart. <laughs> but you know, Timu works in mysterious ways. Oh, more Skull Panda style stickers. Ooh, these are like the little like bubbles, but in like autumnal colors. Fun. Gold beads, because I do have to accept the fact that not everyone wants silver. These little paws, so cute. And these are just like gold and silver stars. Just straight up star stickers. And lastly, more skull panda stickers. These ones are different though. They actually look more like skull pandas. Oh, actually that's not lastly, what are these? Oh, and more of those hearts, but these ones have like an iridescent frame around them. That's really cute. Ooh. And then makeup sponges. I got these to try with chrome because I've seen people using these to like remove excess chrome and it looks really effective. But yeah, that is everything. And that makes sense as to why the, that bag was so big because it's a lot of stuff. jeans I'm wearing. They're basically skinny jeans. Oh, sorry. You see the toilet? Gross. Look at these. Look at these jeans. Have you ever seen me in such tight pants? I don't think so. These jeans are from like, oh, I've already turned on the light. I'm walking over to turn it on. These jeans are from like seven years ago. I bought them vintage uh, for 20 bucks and I used to wear them like every day. I found them in the cupboard and I decided to put them on instead of baggy jeans, which is weird. Potentially also uncomfortable because I'm sitting all day in tight jeans. Oh, yeah, I'm just testing them out, leaning forward. Maybe not the greatest idea. Maybe they are the greatest idea. Maybe they will help with my posture because they're so tight. Also, I was making a smoothie this morning and I dropped a bag of frozen bananas on my foot, which seems like it wouldn't hurt. It hurt a lot um, and it instantly swelled up and instantly bruised right on that bone that connects like your big toe into your foot, that skinny bone there. It didn't feel like the throwing up pain that I got when I broke my toe. So I'm like, it's probably just pretty chill to go away, but it's pretty sore right now. <laughs> So I woke up with a chipped nail this morning. 
So I don't know what kind of dreams I was having, but I was clearly fighting for my life because how do you chip a nail in your sleep? Which means I was originally supposed to do my nails the other day and then I had the dentist and then I didn't afterwards. It means that I'm probably gonna end up doing my nails this week coming up before I go to Montreal because I don't wanna have to chip nails going to Montreal. And that means that I have to take away my editing time and instead do my nails. So I'm gonna have to do some heavy editing. I've been uploading like two videos a week for the past little bit, but I think during the duration of my wedding time and all the chaos before and after, I'm gonna aim for one video a week. Cause you know, I got shit to do now. Shouldn't. Good morning. I did my makeup today. Wedding ish style. The thing is, with my eyes, I'll put on eyeshadow and I'll think it looks like fairly dramatic and then I put on mascara and because my eyelashes are so crazy, it looks a lot less dramatic. Also, this eye has been watering since before I started doing my makeup, so there's no hope for that eye. But one of you actually messaged me, which I was so grateful for, and offered a recommendation for stopping watery eyes. So I'm ordering the product today. So hopefully that helps, but oh, this skin looks pretty nice. I'm using the, ignore this, this is like eczema-y, but I'm using um, NARS Radiant Longwear Foundation. 
And I'm like on the fence about it. I do like it, but I feel like I kind of want to try something else. One of my clients was wearing the Too Faced Born This Way foundation yesterday and it looked gorgeous. And I'm like, maybe I should try that. Every day is a makeup trial for my wedding now. Cause I'm a, less than a month out. My things are crazy. Okay, I'm working on a halo eye. What do you guys think? I've been going for a cool toned shadows. Do we like the cool toned? Also, I did like a deep hydration mask last night and I put on a lot of hydrating products cause my foundation I wasn't loving cause it was looking too dry. But I actually think it looks a lot better today. And then my lip has worn off because I ate a muffin. Hello, my first appointment I've done, my second appointment I've just done the removal. Oh fuck, I forgot to film that after. Okay, that was my client's natural nails. I'll still include them before. That was my client's natural nails. That we, and we just cut them off. We scalped them all the way down. They just need to be functional for school, which I totally get. Hence me having one short hand and one long hand. But so now appointment that was supposed to be now just canceled last minute, unfortunately. My next appointment is until 6.30, so that's four hours away. So I just messaged that client because it's just a removal, offering if they want to come in earlier that they're welcome to. But I might just start removing my own nails because that client who canceled this afternoon, they have a migraine, unfortunately. So I'm going to try and book them back in later this week. I'm going to come in on Wednesday to do my own nails and their appointments are always short. So I was going to book them back in for after I get my hair done that morning before I start doing my own nails. I can squeeze them in there. Fingers crossed. But actually this hand I applied with the Jello Jello Peel Off Base Coat. So I'm actually going to pop some of the remover on and then stick my hand in a glove and see if that speeds up the process at all while I uh, clean up. Yes. This is gonna hurt a lot of you to see this. Bye. I literally have never been able to get the Jello Jello peel off base coat to work and this time was no exception. They literally, it just scalped my nails. I don't know how people get it to work. I am not one of those people who can get it to work. Yeah month out for my wedding and I just like absolutely fucked up my nails so horribly. Good morning. Oh, music. I think it's Tuesday today. Unsure, but the title wouldn't have said. But I have two appointments today. My first one I just did, we did a syrup solid color and then I have one more appointment. In a few hours, I brought my laptop with me to edit, which I still think is a good idea, but it actually, might quickly do something on top of my nails because I can't handle these slutty little French or slutty little square nails anymore. Uh, I just need something on them. But I was planning on doing that tomorrow because I have my hair trial tomorrow. But I'm going to sneak a client in tomorrow as well. I was thinking about doing my nails tomorrow also. I think I might try and do my nails quickly now in like under an hour and then edit for a bit also. And then that way I don't have to do my nails tomorrow. I can edit tomorrow as well. I don't know, it's up in the air. But I got the House Labs foundation, which I have on today. It is very nice. I put it on, I was like shocked. And I was also like, I'm immediately returning that NARS one that I bought because this House Labs is so nice. I just had a mask on, so. But these are my eyes right now. A little bit moody which we like and i put a little sparkle in the center because pat told me i looked dead um in a loving way with my cool tone look the other day he said i look like a corpse so i was like well maybe i'll do a warm tone and i'll put a, a sparkle okay i have this mystery mandy a couple hours and i think i know the path that i want to take but i think i'm just gonna do a quick like tester nail to try it out because i just want to be sure
Okay, I was watching TikTok the other day and I love the Make It Forever lip liner, but they came out with Make It Forever Artist Color Pencil Extreme and it's supposed to be waterproof. Because the other one was not, that was my only gripe, so I'm gonna try it. Okay, it definitely feels waterproof. Like applying it, the texture is not as creamy as the regular one, but it feels also a bit darker. I kind of want to swatch them side by side if I have the other one here. I don't. So I'm just gonna put on some gloss. Got myself a little Mandy salad, so I'm gonna eat this, then quickly do my nails before my client arrives. Good morning. It's 9.15. I have a client coming in at 9.30 this morning. And I'm going to get my hair done for my wedding trial, which is really exciting. I'm wearing the, um, oh, here's good lighting, House Labs foundation again. It's freaking really pretty. I just can't tell if my shade is too light. It actually looks not bad in here, but at home I thought I was looking like a ghost, which I do look like a bit of a ghost because I get really tanned on my arms and not on my face. But I think that's just what it is. Anyways, I'm going to quickly set up before my client arrives. Okay, so this is my bridal hair that I got done today. I've taken out my contact lenses, put on my glasses. It's like I've had it up for hours and I've been laying on the couch and stuff, so it's fallen down a little bit. But it looks so cute. We did such a good job and I'm really excited. Hello. I took out my um, wedding hair from yesterday and it looks great. <laughs> I just uh, brushed it out last night after I took out the thousand bobby pins. And then I'm left with this little messy, wavy situation. You love it. I had Pilates this morning, so I like quickly did my makeup. Not very well. But I put the NARS foundation back on. Oh, I forgot to set my nose. But I put the NARS foundation back on to try it again because I started using different skincare. I think it looks pretty good. I'm just worried that the House Labs one isn't going to be as long wearing. I also am going to Montreal tomorrow and I think I'm going to try to go to Union Station so I can stop in at the Sephora and get a different shade of the House Labs before I go. Because I feel like the one I have is a little bit too pale. I mean, it's seven weeks. <laughs> this will be like, don't wait seven weeks. Don't wait seven weeks. <laughs> I finished my first client. We did dual forms. She was being one of my test subjects for me practicing my dual forms. Uh, they turned out super, super cute. 
she's pretty hard on her hands. So I told her to absolutely keep me posted on how they wear, what happens with them. Her set, her last set, she hadn't been in seven weeks. So she lost a few nails. I mean, with that length, that is super normal to happen and unfortunate. I'm just gonna get ready for my next appointment. We're doing like a neutral mermaidy vibe. And then that's it. And then I'm headed home for the day to do laundry. And then Vanessa and I are going to Montreal tomorrow for the weekend, which is so fun. We're super, super excited. It's like three and a half weeks before my wedding. So this is like, I want to say a bachelorette party. It's not, it's just her and I going and vintage shopping and eating poutine, but um, it's in lieu of one. I'd say. But yeah, I'm so excited for that. I also had Reformer Pilates this morning. I'm a regular now, which is really nice. Feels good to stretch my body. Well, that's it, yeah. So I'm gonna work on drying up this set for my client while I rot here in my reclining chair and that's all. Also, my client brought me a large coffee. Love her for that. Thank you. 